In this section, we are going to talk about Fori Cloud registration and activation. Well, please know that before you uh, activate your Fori Cloud account, you must first register your device. So we've talked about this in a previous section, and this is the very first step that you have to do. So register your Fori Gate, then you can activate the Fori Cloud account. The Fori Cloud registration can be done either manually, so going to https uh, www.fortycloud.com or you can go directly from the FortiGate firewall GUI and as well the logging, we've talked about logging, so logging all the equipments to the FortiCloud cloud, accessing the results are available as well either by navigating to fortycloud.com or directly from the dashboard. So let's take a look now into the GUI and see exactly where do we activate the Forti Cloud account and what other options are available. So in order to activate it from the GUI, we have to go on the dashboard. Here we have the Forti Cloud uh, widget in case it's not available. Remember we have um, the settings button here and then add widget. and you can just enable the, the widget from the security fabric for the cloud. Okay, clicking on the for the cloud widget, activate for the cloud. It will now request us to log in with our already created for the cloud account or create the account here. So I'll just type my email address, access.instructor. at gmail.com confirm the address it says dot instructor at gmail.com hit a password confirm the password I agree to the terms and conditions and hit OK. Activation pending, view confirmation mail, uh, email. So at this point, you have to log in into your email account and most probably, as always, to confirm your email so the account gets activated. So after doing email confirmation, the account has been created and we may now log in. Email address and password. So, okay, we're now logged in into the console. Let's go back now to the GUI and hit the again activate. Fori Cloud and log in. And password. Hit OK. Fori Cloud is now activated. Hit close. And yes, we have now the status activated, here's the account, the type is free, storage use only 15 megs, so it's not 200 gigabits as, uh, as mentioned in the previous section, because it's a free account. If we now want to enable logging to Fori Cloud, we will have to go to log report, log and report, log settings, send logs to syslog if you want to send them to an, uh, a local a local machine that will just collect uh, our uh, our logs or if not we can just use to send logs to Fori Cloud. at this moment we can see it's uh, it's enabled let's also test the connectivity so if we click on the test connectivity we will ensure that the FortiGate can connect to the registered Fori Cloud account so this is a good practice so test connectivity 
and everything looks good upload option let's say every minute to have a more accurate uh, um, view on, on what's happening traffic log event log GUI preferences display logs 40 view from memory 40 analyzer 40 cloud resolve host names and resolve unknown applications so we'll just apply the configuration let's take a look also into the 40 cloud console so I'm logging in let's go to 40 cloud global and here we see our VM or 40 gig XS course VM that it's available in the 40 cloud and this is basically what we wanted to see that the 40 gate it's available to be to be managed I mean in the 40 cloud console so let's click on it we see that it's a dashboard that looks uh, similar to what's available in the GUI of the 40 gate we can add widgets so to just tweak it and configure it the way we the way we want the way we need or the way we just like so top destinations top sources top countries so on threads top threads what's happening traffic an analysis website system events vpn events but we don't have anything like this logging if we click on logs it's now preparing logs and yes we have logs sent by the FortiGate. it absolutely looks perfect this is what i wanted to see logs populate and if you have FortiGate and 40 net devices in general at your disposal that you have to configure manage now or in the future i highly encourage you to go for a 40 cloud uh, subscription or to create an account and get your equipment here it's very easy to use it's intuitive and it will help you to, to uh, configure, manage and administer your devices from whatever you want, from whatever uh, computer or any uh, portable device you have at your disposal.